In this video, I have a brand new Grand Seiko release called the Yuka Momiji. Now this is meant to really remind you of the color of autumn leaves being reflected in traditional Japanese lacquered flooring. And I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily see that. When I look at this watch, I'm not reminded of autumn leaves. I'm not reminded of lacquered flooring. I see something that is distinctive and detailed and dynamic. I see something that is stunning and exquisite and uncommon. I think red or burgundy as a dial color is massively underrated. You just don't see it that often. And I would like to see it more often as a watch fan. Now this case pays homage to Grand Seiko's first ever case design. This watch is part of the Elegance collection and within the watch will be a 9S86 high beat true GMT complication. And here's the best part. This is not technically a limited edition. Now this might have limited production numbers, but at least Grand Seiko is not uh, touting this as a limited edition or a regional market exclusive. And that unfortunately happens a lot with their more uncommon dial colors, dial textures. Uh, those seem to be limited editions or only available in specific markets. And I'm just happy to see that that's not the case with this SBGJ273. Now you may be wondering, Bruce, why would I spend nearly $7,000 on something that might be difficult to match with my everyday dress? And I would say that that's a good point. I think when you're searching for a luxury watch, you should have something that is traditional, that is conservative, that is versatile. But after you cover that base, which many of us have, it's fun to go for the unique models or add that spice, add that flair to your watch rotation. And so if you're in that segment of your watch collecting journey, I think this watch is just well suited to that specific circumstance. Now I mentioned how uncommon the dial color is, but let's take a deeper look here. We'll go in on a macro level because I think this is easily the highlight of this Yuka Momiji. Now there will be vertical striations with varied curved graining. There are varied widths to those vertical or linear lines and there will be a lacquered reflective finish. So very dynamic, very different. And if you go in specific light scenarios, the dial looks more black or more dark. And then in others, it's more burgundy. And then in yet others, especially in direct sunlight, it's like a bright crimson red. And I think that looks so attractive. Now above this lacquered dial, this uncommon dial color, there will be tall and precise applied markers that have a double 12, a double six, and a double nine o'clock layout. These markers also have micro linear striations that run north to south. And this is meant to minutely reflect more light. So it ends up having more of a gem-like quality. I think these are very eye-catching. Now, subset of these appliques are silver 24-hour indexing, and that is meant for the GMT complication. The logo is also silvered, as is the date wheel at the three o'clock position. Now taking a look at the date frame, you'll note a mix of polish finish and frosted finish. I think this is very subtly done. The outer index track is likewise silver printed as is the automatic and high beat designation text. And then below that, you'll note the GMT signature. That's done in gold tone and that matches the brushed GMT hand, which is also done in that gold tone. And I think this warm color perfectly complements the red of this dial, I think, again, it's uncommon, it's different, it's unique, and it is speaking to me. Lastly, the hands are a classic Dauphine style with a brush finish and polished beveled edges. Now, I would also like to shout out to Exquisite Timepieces. They are the Grand Seiko authorized dealer that lent this in for review. I've been buying from them for years. I've been borrowing watches from them for years. I can wholeheartedly recommend them if you're shopping Grand Seiko or perhaps Seiko, Omega, Longines. They have a host of awesome brands. And in fact, this coming weekend, they will have a special Seiko event. So if you're watching this video in time, and you're relatively close to the Naples, Florida region, I will leave all information and links in the description of this video. Now within the watch is called the 9S86 movement. This is a 37 joule caliber with a five Hertz beat frequency. So that seconds hand starts and stops 10 times every second or 36,000 times every hour. So a very smooth sweep 
regulated very well, regulated to six different positions and accurate to an acceptable daily deviation window of plus five to minus three seconds per day. The best part about this movement though is the fact that it is a true GMT and not a less sophisticated dual time. The finishing is very sharp and you will be able to view it through an exhibition crystal in the reverse of the watch. Now to this case, to this fit, this is an homage to Grand Seiko's first ever case design. It is part of the Elegance collection and it sits nicely on my 7.25 inch wrist outside of the height. This is a very tall watch and the watch has 30 meters of water resistance. So I would say it would feel a lot better. It would be a more attractive model to me if it was thinner and trimmer. So that's something that Grand Seiko needs to address. And with their focus on their modern Evo 9 cases, those are thinner. The movements, the new 9S movements, they are considerably thinner. So it is something that Grand Seiko is addressing, but it's not present here on this Yuka Momiji. Now, overall, this watch is just gorgeous and it is a very uncommon color. I like the fact that it is a non-limited release. I find that refreshing personally. And and this is a good watch to really bring color, bring uniqueness, bring some flavor to a watch rotation that has all of the basics covered. And I also think this is good for those who like sub 40 millimeter watches because it measures in at 39.5 millimeters in case diameter. Please reach out with any questions you may have. I'll do my best to answer those questions. Links will be below in the description. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.